on up. <laughs> okay. Have a seat. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to ask Jeff some questions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to stay out here so if it's a, so you're sort of looking out this way for people. Okay. And then we'll just see what happens, and we might bring a couple other people because different people of different styles. We'll see where this goes. So I'll just do this one again, um, and he might already have this in consciousness. Well, we'll do this one. What's the color of the second car you ever had? Blue. Okay. Now, what did you guys see happen there? Right? And then, where did he go? And then you saw the fuzzy stuff, and then what happened? He his eye. Exactly. He went it, so what, here's what happened was, he got, he got it, he had to sort of piece it together, he had to verify it, and then come back out and tell us. Okay? I not remember what the car was. I, yeah, I could see that, and that's what you were seeing. So now, uh, so what was the car? It actually was a truck. Now, did you guys see what just happened there? Yeah. Do you see how fast that was? Yeah. But how did he know it was a truck? He went to visual remember, and you see how fast it was. And see, he's a pretty he's a pretty social kind of guy. This is just my mind read, but he likes to maintain eye contact. So you saw how fast he went there and came right back. Okay, that's a nice little model there. Okay, so um, what would be uh, what would an elephant look like that was purple with yellow polka dots? Pretty stupid. Okay, and where would you see the dot? Where would you put the um, polka dots, the biggest ones, where would you put it on his body? The What's that? In the middle. Well, can you see that? Yeah. Now he can. Did you guys see it that time? So he went to visual defocus and he flickers just really quickly, same way. I'll do it again. I'll do it another way. Um, um, what are you doing after the training? Going home. And you have any plans for this evening? I don't think so. You're not sure? How do you know? There we go. <laughs> See, now, this is good. You're doing great. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, we're not done, but I just wanted to point something out. So did you see what's happening is, is he's a really good example. What do you do for a living? I'm just curious. Manages construction companies. Okay. What you're really, what you would have to, see, you're in a, a position where you probably have to keep track of a lot of statistical things or that kind of, of information, yeah. but you're managing people, too. So he's sort of a perfect person in the sense that you see how he goes into visual defocused a lot, but he's still looking at you. You follow what I'm saying? So he's still, and he has what some of us would call basically a look to talk. There's two, two versions, a look to talk rule and a look to listen rule. And what that means is that he, he's very, he wants to maintain visual contact with who he's talking to. When you're working with somebody like that, and you, you go, God, I'm not seeing their eyes go in too many places. It's because they're in visual defocused, and they, they've sort of learned, I'm not going to move my eyes. It's not that they don't want to show you. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It's that maintaining eye contact is really important. So all you do is you just have to ask them a couple deeper questions. So when I said, well, how do you know? Right over there. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> So that's, so that's all that you have to do with somebody like that, or you start to look away a little bit. Literally, the people who have the look to listen rule, guess where we learn that one? Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay, erase, 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 buddy. <laughs> We're going to have to work on that one later. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, that's where we start to pick these things up. Again, it's all just stuff that we learn along the way. Okay? But the main reason why I wanted to just do a little quick time out here is that he is what's called normally organized in terms it's all wired up just like the chart. We already know that. I'll do the other one so you can see that. But basically, I usually check remembered and construct. And if those are usually right, the rest is usually going to be okay too. But not everybody's going to go, you know, these really hard accesses like this all the time. Okay? So you've got you've to ask other questions, be a little flexible, look away a little bit, don't make it like they've got to be staring at you. And what will happen is, is it will start to loosen up. Okay? And very much so when we do the exercise, it's going to be far more, um, much easier to observe all this in the real world because people don't know that you're looking at their eye accessing cues. Okay? So we'll do a couple more here. <clears throat> All right, Jeff. 
What do you say to yourself in your head when you want to psych yourself up if you're going to get yourself like moving? Get your head out of your ass. Okay. Now that's okay, and I don't even want to ask what the picture is that you're seeing when you're saying that. <laughs> What's the tone of voice that you use when you're actually hearing it in your head? Just go ahead and hear it. There it goes. Now you see, he had to, he, what he's doing is he's having to access other stuff first, mostly visual. So he's got a pretty strong visual lead, it looks like, with some of these things. So we'll just check this out. What's it, uh, what's it feel like to stick your hand in a bucket of cold, icy water? Boom, boom. So do you see what he did that time? That was a really nice illustration of a, and he does have a, I'll tell you, you're totally normal, buddy. Okay, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good, okay? What happens is he went up into visual remember. Now, with that question again, what do you think he was doing? Yeah, and then he went, like right into kinesthetic. Okay, and you all saw that one, right? All right. <laughs> He's like, jeez. Okay, and um, let's see. Well, you're wearing a wedding ring. So, um, the sound of your wife's voice. How would you describe, well, well, don't describe it, just hear the tone of her voice when she's in a really good mood. Okay, what's it sound like? Soft. And how's it compare to when um, maybe she's a little stressed out? There we go. <laughs> and now he makes the picture and then he goes back over. So he went right over. So he, because it's somebody close to him, that information was very close to his awareness. So he was like in the immediate, to use your term, Amber. So he didn't have to go to visual, or he didn't have to go to auditory remember. So what did I have to do? I had to give him a contrast where he had to make an auditory comparison. He went there first, then he went over into visual again because he likes visual to really get the whole picture, so to speak. And then right at the very end, he went back over into auditory. Okay, so we'll check this one out. Um, what would be the sound of a rhinoceros, you know, the sound a rhinoceros makes, but like in a wind tunnel? Do you know what a rhino sounds like? No. Okay. That, or like an elephant. elephant. How about an elephant? All right. You know what an elephant sounds like? Yes. How do you know? <laughs> there he goes. Now, did you see, he never said I heard it before until he finally made it over into auditory remember. Did you see that? Yeah. But he relies very, very heavily on visual to get his bearings before he can go into, that's called a visual lead. This is a really good example of what I was talking about with a lead system. He likes to, that's a big component before he can do a full access into one of the other ones. So we'll check this out again. What about the sound of, um, what would a motorcycle sound like underwater? Okay, like how so? Like okay, so now he's remembering the sound of bubbles. So this, so auditory construct might not be a place that he goes very often. We're going to find that out in a minute. Okay, um, if you were going to hear a tune in your head that you've never heard before, and you were just going to make it up, you don't have to do it out loud. But if you're just going to hear it in your head, a tune you've never heard, and hear it in your mind, Derek, uh, he's trying to find it now. Just stay there. Just say it. Just say what you want to say there. Yeah. Now. I'm having, it's not easy for me to do I know. That. Very good. That was good. <laughs> and I want to point, this is a, thank you, you're really, this is so good. And I'm going to help you with something right here. Okay. It'll be fun, okay? So, did you see, he at first tried to go there, but he couldn't. And then he went over here, and then when he went over here and stayed over an auditory remembered, what did he say? I can't. Of course he can't construct it if he's in remembered. So then the question is, hmm, so is there some, so usually with auditory, especially auditory construct, a lot of times you'll have of all the ones that people don't go to, that, where everything's basically okay in their life, it's often auditory construct because they don't need to. <laughs> Unless you're a musician or a construct, do you, do you play a musical instrument? Yes. What do you play? Guitar. Guitar? Uh-huh. And do you like to play? 
Robert. Do you like to Im do you do a lot of improvisation? It's not easy for me. It's not easy for you. I can believe that. Yeah, what's easier for you? To copy somebody. Yeah. And did you see where he went? Yeah. Yeah, so he went I could, we're going to have a good talk after the training sometime. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll tell you why. Okay. I had exactly the same thing. Mm. And do you notice he answered his questions in visual. So he sees a lot of stuff that he does musically. You probably see fretboards. You probably see formations, forms, things like that, right? Patterns. Exactly. Mm -hmm. As opposed to hearing and responding, which would be more straight into auditory. So can we just check something here for a second? Sure. You want to be a better guitarist? Yeah. Okay. Most guitar I never met a guitarist who didn't want to be Thank better. <laughs> so here's this is the thing I promised I said we would do just as an experiment. Okay? Oh, oh thank you. You're exposed. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I mean, see what you guys don't realize is I have these battery packs on because this is how I can keep teaching this long. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> So once they, once they, no, no, once they unplug these, I just go like this, and there's, it's like they pack me up in a suitcase, take me home, bring me back tomorrow. Okay, that was called a break state, by the way. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna move this around like this, and I'm just gonna ask you to follow this, okay? And I want you to just notice if there's any place um, that feels more comfortable, less comfortable, just sort of what you notice, literally in terms of sensations in your eyes or anything in your body. Okay. Okay? So we'll just start up here. We'll just go around. Uncomfortable. Okay. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Not very much, much better. See? <laughs> Do you see how he likes it in visual? Now watch. Uncomfortable. Now, yeah, that's good. So when he goes over here right away, his head shook like that, and he says uncomfortable. So then there's a couple reasons why that could be. It can be sometimes if a person's had certain experiences that are in that system, it's like, why go there? Like, I don't want to open that cabinet because I know what's in there, so let's not go there. Other times, it is literally just a neural why. It's just not, pra it's just, there's just no practice. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, just for the fun of it, we'll just see what happens here. And I'm going to let you sort of let me know what's going on, okay? So just let me, all we're going to do is we're not going to go into the kinesthetic part, but we're just going to go right up in here a little bit, okay? okay? So I'm just going to have you go here, 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 right. That was really good. So as you're, now how are you feeling right now? Like right on the edge. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we'll just take a break, move around. Now we're going to do one other thing. <clears throat> you okay? Oh, that's strange. What's happening? My eyes feel funny. Yeah. Because we're literally, what we were doing was I was having him go from a friendly rep system, basically to one that's less, you know, comfortable, and back and forth a little bit just to see what would happen. Now what we'll do is this, because this will be sort of a fun part. And I don't need any content, but I want you to think about what it's like for you when you are just like in the groove and you are just feeling good. And it could be when you're doing anything. I don't care, I don't care what it is, just when you're feeling really good about yourself and you know, got something? How would you describe it? I don't need to know the situation, but how would you describe the feeling? Euphoric. Euf ooh, you're going right for euphoric. Okay. <laughs> I like you. It's good, man. You don't mess around with these lower level stuff. You know? <laughs> it's like, let's go. Let, go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, and you know what it feels like when you have that kind of feeling, huh? Mm, yeah. what's, it, what's it like in your body? Almost uh, uh, like a weightlessness. All right, like a weightlessness. Yeah. yeah. yeah so what I want you to do, floating. Now, here's what I want you to do. We'll just do this really quick. So you know, even if you just think about when we were talking earlier, and I said, oh, you really go for it with euphoria, and you were just sort of laughing like that. Mm -hmm. But you know it's that weightless kind of feeling and all that. And just look at this up here. And you know what it's like when you're just feeling euphoria and it's that weightless feeling. And you know why well, you don't mess around with those lower level things because you're just having a good time and it's sort of fun and all that kind of thing. That's right. Okay, what happened that time? It didn't feel uncomfortable. It didn't feel uncomfortable, did it? Because all I did was I'm pairing now a positive feeling with that movement in your eyes, so it starts to feel comfortable. Yep. Okay. So then it starts to feel a little bit better. So we'll do it again a couple more. Yeah, see, now it's unconscious. Mine goes, hmm, okay. We're sort, of, sort of digging this now. Bring it on. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like, almost felt like the starting of a headache. 
Yeah. 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 Like right behind your eyes with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cute. Okay, Mark? Yeah, you're fine. All right. So let's just do this again. So now you, you've got to be going, mm -hmm. okay. We've got the euphoric feeling, but you also realize now it felt different this, this last time we did it. Mm -hmm. But you know what euphoric feels like for you? Yes. That floaty, weightless kind of feeling, and we just look mm -hmm. up here and, you know, that's just that floaty, weightless kind of feeling, and you know, the euphoria, you know, it's just a nice feeling, that's it. All right. Okay? How was that that time? No problem. No problem. See, now think about if you're working with a kid and they couldn't go in a certain system, for whatever reason, do you mean to tell me, John, it's this simple that you get the person in touch with a really good feeling and you get them anchored in that state and you have them do the thing that was bothering them before and it can start to collapse that? Yep, that's what I'm telling you. Okay? So now I'm just going to, just we'll just do it this way now. Okay? So you're up here. Okay? Okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. How was that? Better. Okay? than the first time, but, but there was still, I felt a little tension. Oh, okay. So a little tension. So, I mean, when you're, when you have, when, when you're feeling euphoria, euphoria, do you have any, like, tension then? Yeah. Just a little, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Just keep that right there. Right. Yeah. Just that kind of tension, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now you got it, man. You got it, Jeff. Okay, how are you feeling now? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Now let's just check this, okay? So we go over here. Oh, yeah. Let's switch. Okay. How's that feeling? Oh. All right. Now, just for the fun of it now, let's just see what happens. I'm just going to come back over here for a second. So <clears throat> if I would say to you now, what, does, what would a motorcycle sound like underwater? Bubbles. You just do? <laughs> <laughs> You went straight to auditory construct. You went like right there. Seriously? Yeah. Ask them. Yeah. It was. As, I mean, it was as clear as clear could be. Wow. Awesome. So you're starting to, so, I mean, it'll take a little more practice, and I can talk to you during a break more around the guitar stuff if you want to, but you're literally, you just opened up an area of your, your neurology that wasn't open, didn't have free access. Wow. All right? All right. All right, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> Give him a hand.